time now to clear the air. And the great thing about Mitt Romney's plan for the economy is that he doesn't need to be elected for us to see it in action. We don't need to see a President Romney in order to witness the effect of his policies. Just take a look across the Atlantic at Europe, and there, as clear as day, is the Romney-Ryan budget in action. Mr. Romney, in his 59-point plan, and his affirmation of what he calls Mr. Ryan's marvellous budget, would do the following. Cut corporate taxes, reduce government spending, and decimate regulations. This is almost exactly, word for word, what the British and Spanish governments have been doing for the last 18 months. Political leaders in both those countries have said that tackling the deficit is their central priority. And they've gone about it with gusto. And now, the results are in. Last week, the United Kingdom announced that it's back in recession. And today, the Spanish government officially accepted that it too is back in recession. In Britain, in the first three months of 2012, the economy shrank by 0.2%. At the same time, the rate of inflation is now at 3.5%. In Spain, their economy shrank by 0.3% and unemployment is now at a record 24.4%. This is the Romney-Ryan plan for America as already imposed in Europe. And what you get is a double dip recession. Has thankfully taken a different path. The biggest worry of all is that Europe's troubles may soon become contagious and eventually reach us here in America. Which begs the question, if a serious contractable disease is known to be percolating in a particular area, do you go there or do you avoid it like the plague? That's the question that America will answer this November. And don't say you haven't been warned.